Hello guys and welcome to a sort of tutorial on how to easily get wool in the Celtic Ages. Um, for a long time when I played this it was really difficult to get enough wool because when you make the buckets and such uh, you need a lot of wool and for your spacesuit. So I found a easy way an easy way to um, to get a lot of wool and um, so as you can see I have my sheep farm right here and some of them have been sheared but if you do it with normal shears and um, you won't get wool uh, from it which is quite annoying but that's how it is um, so to get a lot of wool what you need is uh, close them in like this um, and I want to build an animal rancher which I have here um, and as you can see when you are in stage 4 uh, the animal rancher is not too difficult to make um, but you do need a machine case which is also fairly uh, difficult and annoying to make um, so it takes a bit of time but once you got this one it's uh, it's really easy to get a lot of wool and what you do is you place the animal rancher down here and as you can see I've already made a lot of progress in my game and so I've made uh, some windmills here which generate power and since you are in H4 you should uh, easily know how to uh, make these and make the power uh, go to certain machines and such um, as you can see I have one here that's uh, sending power down to the uh, LV wire relay and for this it doesn't really matter if you have LV wires or HV wires um, because an LV wire is enough power to, uh, to power this one uh, so as you can see, I've made some uh, some walls, um, sort of pillars, uh, to go over here. And uh, even though the Animal Rancher is industrial floor going, and the LB wire relay is uh, is immersive engineering, uh, they still work together. Uh, you don't need uh, any uh, power blocks to uh, to convert the power into uh, but this use. Um, so what you do, as you may have guessed, um, you simply just wire it up and this and also an LB wire connector to place it on there and you power it and as you can see the power starts to rise uh, quite quickly even though it's only LB so you don't need any more than that and the shearing itself um, takes a bit of time so it easily restores all the energy um, but as you can see right now not much is happening um, and that's because it only ranges to right in front of it um, so you can see that one passed by and got sheared and that gave me three three wool from one sheep um, so what you do uh, to get all of them is uh, you make a range add-on and just check the range add-on um, see them here uh, from the lowest one they are pretty simple to make in stage 4 um, and as you move further up they are of course going to get more difficult to make um, and I think personally I have a tier 10 which is fresh marine which it's not that difficult to get um, but as you can see the difference between tier 10 which is prismarine and tier 11 which is enhanced Galgadorian metal uh, it's a big difference in the difficulty of how easy you can make them um, so I've just stuck with a tier 10 range add-on um, so if you go in there and you put it in the slot right there you can see all of the shears, no, all the sheep 
has been uh, sheared and I've gotten 36 white and 29 grey wool. Uh, and I feel like that's a way, way better method of getting it instead of having to collect sugar canes and uh, wicker and that. So, yeah. So, yeah. I hope you guys like this short tutorial and uh, if you watch this, if anybody watches it, um, please leave a like or comment if there's anything else in the Celtic Ages that you want a tutorial on. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty far I've already made uh, decent progress on the rockets, so I'm nearing the, uh, the creative page. Um, so yeah, bye guys.